All right, guys, it's the Mel and Dan Show, also known as Road Trip at Home. Mel, what are we reviewing today? So today we have the Toyota Kluger Hybrid, um, and this is the Grande, which is their top of the range. So, starting from the front guys, this car has a really aggressive chrome surround around the grille with a black insert. It does have the blue hybrid badge, which is typical of any hybrid uh, vehicle within the Toyota range. Within that badge is the radar unit, so that sits behind the badge and will help with the autonomous emergency braking as well as the, the active cruise control, which will adjust the distance between your car and the car in front once you've set the cruise control speed. Um, and from there as well, you have these sleek, nice headlights, the LED headlights at the top. They're not the Matrix style headlights that are now in newer cars, uh, but they are a really effective LED headlight and your standard instrument um, indicator cluster and everything is all there as well. Mel, but how about for parking and safety? So for parking and safety, we have the uh, 360 degree camera here um, and also the parking sensors as well, which are just here. So the car that we are reviewing today is actually powered by a 2.5 litre hybrid engine. Dan, what does that mean? Alright, Mel, so basically what it means is that this car doesn't need to be plugged in. It will run on electric power as well as petrol power. And that gives you the best of both worlds. So if you want to go on a long drive, we went to Toowoomba and back, you can do that and not worry about where you're going to have to charge and all that kind of stuff because the battery will charge itself either while braking and it will regenerate that battery power back into it. Um, or while you're driving, if there's excess engine power, it will also push that excess power back into the batteries in the form of electricity. Um, so making it the best of both worlds. So you can go on your drive, you know, for four, five, 600 Ks and not really worry about, okay, I need to make sure I've got X amount of charge and go. What this results in this car, we went to Toowoomba and back and it gave us a, a fuel consumption reading of 5.3 liters per 100 Ks which is really, really good considering the size of this car and that it can haul seven people um, wherever your road trip desires take you. So moving around to the side of the vehicle, um, the Grande actually has the 20 inch uh, Chrome Tech wheels. Um, and one thing that I really love as well is the keyless entry. So just by holding um, your hand on the, on the handle here, it opens up the car, um, the side mirrors click out and you can open up. So as we open up, we can actually see that the, um, the Kluger, even though it's an SUV, has like a real luxury sort of feel to it. So with the nice trim here, which kind of like has like a wood grain, um, really nice soft touch leather with um, some of the metallic finishes. Um, and Dan, let's, um, can you talk to us a little bit about the tech side of the car? Yes. So as you can see, it has electronic seat adjustments for the driver. They go backwards and forwards. They also go up and down. They tilt and they move the backrest, as well as your lumbar support is electronic as well. So you can always be guaranteed that you'll be comfortable on those long road trips in this car. Now, in terms of safety for this car, we mentioned before it has autonomous emergency braking. That's the distance for that is controlled on the steering here once your radar cruise is activated. It has lane departure alert as well, which is all on here. Your 360 degree camera controls are just here on this button panel here as well as your auto high beam um, headlight switch is there. Your tailgate re release for the automatic up and down tailgate is located in that same spot. Um, and then the steering wheel as well, which is really cool, is it's actually tilt and height adjustable. Not all cars in this segment do have that tilt and height adjustment. Some still surprisingly are just a tilt adjustment. Um, it's wrapped in this really nice premium material around the steering wheel. Unfortunately, it does have that gloss black, which everyone knows that I hate, as well as the gloss black around the console and instrumentation. So you do get a lot of that, um, all, the, all those markings that show up really easily on that. However, on the doors and around the gear selector, you do have um, the premium wood grain look uh, finish, which looks a lot better and doesn't show all that dust and dirt quite as easily. We're starting with the technology on the inside. 
steering wheel, super easy to use for the standard controls, Bluetooth, voice commands, audio up and down, next track, previous track, all of that, nothing changes. It does have automatic rain sensing windscreen wipers as standard, as well as auto on and off headlights um, as part of that. Um, with the interior, you then get the Apple CarPlay and Android Auto system. Very responsive screen. In Australia, we do have the smaller of the two screens. In the US, they do get a much bigger and more modern screen. However, this screen definitely does the job. And the great thing is it does have actual knobs so that you can increase and decrease the volume a lot faster yeah. rather than having to use your finger to touch, press it and be delayed doing that. Um, dual zone climate control is standard. You have air conditioning controls for the rear seats as well that are controlled from the front or the back. Along with the Android Auto and Apple CarPlay, because this car doesn't have the wireless CarPlay, um, it does have a USB port that's specifically for the infotainment unit, um, plus two additional fast charging uh, USB ports on the left hand side, and then a 12 volt charging platform on the left of that. Um, in the center as well, you have this cool little storage shelf where you can rest your device while it is charging, so it's out of the way from everywhere else. This is a carryover from the previous model Kluger and it's a really handy feature to have as well. Um, cup holders are super big. You can store all the normal like pump bottles, standard water bottles, as well as the funky newer uh, Eco bottles. Um, moving down to the drive modes, this car now has as part of the hybrid system, you can have a sports, a standard normal mode and an Eco driving mode. They will change the way that the engine and the hybrid system work um, in sync to give you additional power, um, a little bit more responsiveness and better handling. You have the electronic park brake, you no longer have the foot brake in the previous model Klugers. Um, and you also have the addition of auto hold. So when that's activated, you can come to a stop at the light or anywhere else and it will automatically apply the foot brake for you. Until you're ready to go, you just press the accelerator then it takes off for you. Mel, how about for the comfort features on the interior? So the centre console is actually um, pretty spacious and I actually find this feature kind of cool. Like it's, yeah, something different. Um, but yeah, heaps of room in here. There's also um, a little slidable tray. Um, but yeah, it's quite deep and, um, and a reasonable size as well. So I'm going to lay down a closer like that. In the Kluger we have um, dual climate control, uh, which actually comes in handy because if your passenger or if your driver loves their aircon really cold and you don't like it as cold, you can obviously customise that. Um, the rear also has their own um, climate zone as well, which is all controlled through your front here. So another thing I really love about this car is that it has a panoramic roof. Check this out. Allowing you to lean back and watch the night stars I know, on a romantic you. date or to have your kids distracted as you drive. It's and awesome. better yet, you can even open up this here and let some fresh air into the car and get rid of that foul baby milk smell. <laughs> All right, so moving into the back, we actually have a tremendous amount of space in the rear for anyone that's sitting in the back, which follows on from the previous generation Kluger. So the Kluger used to be one of the only cars that you could have three baby seats side by side in the full size baby seats. Um, the new model is no different to this. However, with the back, the, with the driver's seat the whole way to the back, I actually still have a tremendous amount of knee space here um, and leg room is very much plentiful. Um, in terms of the width here, you'd probably be pressed to have three people along the side you'd still be comfortable wouldn't have any issues there if you're only two of you in the back you can have some cool little armrests as well as your cup holders to share between mel and i um, and when mel's feeling tired all she needs to do is just lean back in the seat and have a nap this is actually a really cool feature definitely <laughs> um, now mel what do you think of the roof I love it. I, um, I I just love that it's got lots of natural light um, and it's a really cool moon roof. Yeah. yeah. So as a mum um, and having little ones in the back seat, we always struggled with sun coming through um, and being just really bright on their little faces. And so I remember actually having like blankets and trying to like tuck them into the window. The cool thing about the Kluger is actually that it comes with these retractable shade cloths. So you can actually just clip them on like that. Um, and another really amazing feature is that the window can still be functional as well. So you can have that down and still having air come through while the shade cloth is up. 
Um, and yeah, so you don't have to worry about using blankets or those big shade cloths that go over the whole window because this is built in. So the Kluka has the option of having two baby car seats and they have the ISO fixtures um, on these two seats just here. And when you have friends and family visiting, you have two additional seats in the rear that do offer additional seating capacity. It's not the most comfortable. My knees are pretty much up against the back seat uh, and very much uh, moving across two different seats. Headroom is a little bit compromised, but if they're friends from school or if they're just family that you need for a quick trip, certainly super handy and super convenient to have. Aircon vents go the whole way through to the third row, um, so you're not missing out on safety. And one of the unique things with the Toyota range is that even in the third row, the airbag system continues to come back through to the back, offering additional head safety in the event of an accident, which is unlike a lot of other manufacturers as well. So one of the things I really love about this car as a mum um, is the ample boot space. So as you can see, you've got like heaps of room when these two seats, um, two back seats are down. Um, this also gives us a really great option as well, being an SUV and a seven seater. So when you do need these two back seats, um, you can easily pop them up. So you then have the option of having a seven seater car. Um, also, we have the shopping hooks as well. Um, which is great when you know obviously you've got a little bit of extra shopping. So when you do actually need um, to have the back seats up, you just pull down, you just pull actually on these levers like this. And this one here. And this one. And your you've got your seven seats sorted. So Dan, like the boot does open up really high and what if like space was really limited? Can you modify that or? Yeah, so what we can do is you can actually drag this down and stop it where you need it to stop so that it doesn't hit what, you, what you're trying to clear. Push and hold that, wait for those four beeps okay. and then try that again. And it will now open and close to that specific spot each and every time. Wow, that is actually really cool. I didn't realize you could do that. Yeah. So there you have it guys. That's what Mel and I think about the Toyota Kluger in the Grande model. Now, Mel, do you think families should have a look at this car when considering their next family car? Yeah, definitely. I think as like an SUV on the market, I think this is definitely something, uh, a car to be considered. Um, it has the space, it also has the luxury. Um, so yeah, it's definitely a really good family car. Yeah. And fantastic on fuel. Like we said, yeah. 5.3 litres per 100 k's for a trip out to Toowoomba, which was about 400 to 500 k's uh, total round trip for the day. Um, so yeah, very much, very good on fuel.